Hello everyone, um, today we'll be talking about animations and I'll be using doors as an example. Um, so if you remember, if you've watched my very first video um, on doors, um, you should know that when we scripted a door, we had to move the, pos the whole position of the door. So we had to change the Y axis, the X axis and the Z axis every time we clicked on the door. So this is an example of um, if I click on the door and only the Y axis changes. The door is here, imagine you have a frame around it and if I click on it, the door goes out of frame. So it, the, the door is usually here and it moves a bit off. So it's, it goes out of frame. Um, I've found a, a solution to this and the solution is that you have to edit the whole um, Fox model to make it so that it stays around one one um, y axis y by value and that that sweet spot is those two dark blue here so this is the center of the box model but if you put it a little bit off center so if your door is centered or not centered but based on these two blocks here then your door will be on the sweet spot so that when you rotate it it stays around those cubes. So for example, this is this one goes out of frame, but this one, if I click on it, it stays where it stays around that sweet spot there. So I've put these little black things here to help me see, and this the door just stays on it. So that makes um, the script the scripting much easier and it makes your life much easier. So that's good. Now when you open the door and close the door, there's no animation, it just skips from one to the other. Um, so what would be nice is to add an animation to it. So um, yeah, let's 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 do that. So let's go to replet. Let my door is equal to parcel dot feature wait get feature by ID my door name is door with three O's then let A1 which is our first animation equal um, door dot create animation and it's a rotation cool alright so A1 dot set set keys um, this is a dictionary, so don't forget the curly brackets and the square brackets. Nice, so we want frame and value. Alright, so the frame is the number of frames you want your animation to go for. I'll put 30 seconds here, uh, 30 frames, because the, the standard is um, the standard is 30 frame per second so um, the animation will turn out 30 30 ah, sorry 30 frame per second so if you put 360 here your animation is gonna last 12 seconds so I put 30 so that it lasts one second so what do we want to add as value we'll put um, door dot rotate ah, rotation sorry dot add um, new vector 3 0 0 0 cool so we've got a vector and we've added our thing um, or rotation um, we want the door to rotate around at the y-axis so I have to change the y-axis to something so I've put 1.5 here uh, if I had put 3 the door would have gone all the way um, 180 degrees we don't we, we don't want that we want 90 degrees so I'll put 1.5 um, if you wonder how I got that number it's pretty much trial and error I um, pretty much figured that out for you sweet so um, that's that's pretty much sorted now we want to start the animation so how does that go we are we're gonna put that script on a button so we want feature dot on click good old click and then E, a new event, Up, and then door dot start animation, Up. 
with the list and you put A1 in it. There you go. Just making sure the codes are right. Looks good to me. And then you add this to your button. And refresh. So I've been using um, the UI HTML, the HTML UI, but I've also been using the um, isolate flag, which is isolate equal true. And that allows me to load my parcel without any other parcels around. And so it makes the performance so much better and it makes the, um, the scripting so much faster. All right, so the script is on, door is there. Let's try it. Ooh, not quite working well, is it? So let's have a look. Um, where's our problem here? So we've got new Victor 3. I should probably have looked in the console. Visibility, invisibility, visibility, that's not what I want. Door start animation. Ah, oh, I see where the problem is. The problem is goes we needed an S here. Start animations. The reason is because we'll be able to have multiple animations at the same time. So let's get that. Put it there. Oh. That's a kind of small mistake that can ruin your day. But it's okay. We found it easily, so it should be alright. Alright. There you are. So let's try this. There you go. So that's nice. So now the problem the problem we have currently is that um if I click on this button again, it's not gonna close the door or it's gonna it's not gonna open it further. It's actually gonna restart the animation. Um, so there's no loop uh, for animations yet, and there's also no um, even control. So there's no way you can check whether the door is open or closed yet, um, apart from creating a variable yourself. But the problem problem is if you make another animation that would pretend the door is closing, since when you click on the button, the door restarts here restarts closed then your animation will just go the other way around and so the door will open again but on the other side um, if that makes sense I hope it does because it, yeah that was a bit complicated to explain but yeah um, so that's your animation and now if I click on the door right now what it does is it does the previous positioning that I've had done so it just does that that scripting that was on the door so yeah, that's your first animation, which is rotation. Um, now another animation that we have is positioning. So um, we've got that box model here. I've got a button here. Um, let's try to move that around, so move it further. So um, let's change this. I'll change it to vox model. Uh, the vox name, is, vox ID is vox. Um, it's not rotation anymore, it's position. Um, gotta change all this. So, fox model dot um, position. New vector, so we don't want to move it around the y axis, we'll move it around the z axis. And I'll put minus, minus, um, let's put minus 2. Let's go for, uh, for 12 seconds. Let's go for 12 seconds. Uh, and I'll put minus one because minus two is a bit too big. All right, so let's change this fox model and here fox model. There we go. Everything should be all right. Let's copy this and paste it here. Oh, refresh. All right. So now if I click on this, it moves around the z-axis. Nice. It's a bit slow, so I could change that to a, a, a greater value, so put it to 5 maybe. Ooh, 5 is a bit much, eh? My boat might go a bit too far. Let's try. Oh, it's alright. Not too slow, not too fast. That's sweet. And it just goes. Goodbye. Let me open the door for you. Oh, wow, okay. 
All right, that was it. So you've got the positioning um, animation and you've got a rotation animation. If you wanted to have multiple animations in the same time, at the same time, then you just copy that part of the script. You make sure you change the variables too. So you've got one position here, one position here, um, two animations. Let's say you want to change that one to rotation instead, rotation. Then A2, um, and then this is another box model. So let's keep, let's make sure the rotation is on the same box model. All right, so um, I'm going to call it up. Let's make sure it rotates around the y axis at the same time. So say 1.5, and then A2. Right, so you've got a new variable, which is the new animation here on the same box model. Um, you've got, um, we changed it, oh, I should probably change this to rotation, rotation, Fox model dot rotation. add, we add a new vector, it's going to spin around the y, y axis, and here when we click, we've got um, start animations with A1 and A2. Now if I take this and put it on this button here, And refresh. Let's try it again. There you go. And now it just goes around and spins at the same time. Nice. Well done. Well, that was it for animations. Um, I will share this model in the description. I'll put a link in the description uh, for you to play around with this um, and also uh, I'll put the, edit the edited door in, in the description so you can have a look at it too. Um, just so you know again this cube is at x20 and y15. Alright I'll see you soon again.